here's all my model uh, spray painting equipment. And uh, just thought I'd get it out today and check it out. This is uh, my original airbrush that I bought in 1965, I think it was. It's called a Binks, um, a Binks Wren airbrush. And this is the Binks uh, diaphragm compressor that went with it. When I was 12 years old, I got my first job part-time after school and saved for a year so that I could buy this airbrush setup uh, to paint my model airplanes because I wanted them to look better. And I've used this airbrush for decades. It's been great. But about 10 years ago, <clears throat> I think it was, I bought uh, this Aztec from testers and it's really a nice uh, airbrush system comes in a great wooden box and uh, multiple tips bottles and it's pretty nice double action and then about oh, I don't know five years or so ago I'm not sure I bought a really I mean it's like my best like my best one, I bought an Iwata uh, Eclipse airbrush, and this thing's really, you know, it's like that's like premium, <laughs> expensive too. <clears throat> and then, um, and then I bought this uh, Pache. I think probably about the same. Sometime ten years or so ago, and actually, you know what? I've never even opened it because I mean, I just you know have these other airbrushes, but I think I'm going to open it soon. And then um, I have this Harbor Freight, and I've done a lot of spraying with this thing. This is really nice. It's a touch-up gun, but uh, you can do a lot of uh, coverage in a you know large area. And the same with this one here. Touch up gun, you can do a lot of coverage. And then just recently, I was shopping on Hobby King, and I saw this. And this is kind of like a a copy of the Binks brush. And this kit with the airbrush, two bottles, hose, air can adapter, and a pipette. <laughs> was six dollars and 89 cents including the plastic case I mean how do they do it I don't know it's made by Fengda F-E-N-G-D-A and then not to be outdone at the same time I bought this one which is sort of a copy of an Iwata also made by Fengda this is the BD-208 this is the BD-138 this is the BD-208 and this was ten dollars, ten freaking bucks. And last but not least, <clears throat> oh, a few years ago, I say about five years ago, my sister, who's an artist and loves to paint and draw, I thought she might be interested in airbrushing. So I bought her this complete airbrushing kit from Harbor Freight and shipped it up to her, San Jose. And after a couple of years. <laughs> she shipped it back to me. She never opened it. She just either wasn't curious, wasn't interested, was afraid of it. I don't know. She just never used it, so she sent it back to me. And I still haven't taken this one out of the package to use it. But I think I'm going to do that. Now, interestingly, I was just uh, airbrushing recently. Not this plane, but one like it. And, uh, you know, I was doing the uh, exhaust stains from the manifold and stuff. And I was using this compressor and the Aztec brush. And this compressor, <coughs> compressor from 1965, see, 75, 85, 95, 2005, 2050, 50, over 50 years old, still works. It's never failed. The, the diaphragm hasn't failed or ruptured or anything. Just amazing, you know. Just amazing. So anyway... 
this is my cool spray painting stuff. Yeah, one thing I <coughs> should should have mentioned is that uh, when I started with this back in the in the 60s, 65, there was no such thing as water-based acrylic paints. You had to paint with enamels, and that meant, of course, thinner and turpentine and whatever and all the smell and uh, and the mess and everything so when I discovered acrylic water-based paints I embraced them completely and loved them you can spray inside a house inside a bedroom <laughs> no fumes and it just cleans up so easily with water a little warm water and uh, and you're done thank goodness for acrylic water-based paints and um, anyone that's airbrushing today if you're using enamels and you haven't tried acrylics give them a whirl okay here's the uh, central pneumatic from Harbor Freight uh, airbrush kit out of the box and I just looked up my Fingda catalog and it's actually um, it's a Fengda BD-800 airbrush kit. This is the Fengda BD-800 and the compressor is the Fengda AS-18 compressor. Pretty nice looking kit actually. And Fengda, you look up Fengda airbrushes and you'll see that they sell for pretty good money over in Europe. Uh, we get them at a bargain price here. Anyway. Okay, well, after uh, many years of sitting on my shelf, I finally opened up the uh, Pache VL airbrush, and man, it's a nice looking piece of kit. Looks beautiful. I'm sure it's extremely well made. I think this is a very uh, highly thought of uh, airbrush company. So, uh, yeah, this should be nice to use. I'll be checking out all these different goodies here.